Testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. How is everyone doing today? Yeah. There's a lot of distraction over there. How's everyone doing today? Yeah. Oh, no. All right. For all those who know me, my name is Brian Santos. I'm the chairman of the Bitcoin Business Alliance, the largest grassroots organization in the Bitcoin ecosystem. We've been around since 2012. And I've also founded uh, several coins in this space. And uh, Fly is my company where I'm the chief operating officer. So we're basically the Uber of private jets. And uh, there's a lot of problems with the private aviation industry as a whole. It's cost prohibitive, it's slow, it's not crypto friendly, and uh, for the most part, there's an inability to split uh, seats on a plane with your friends and colleagues. We solved this with the Fly app. The Fly app is an AI voice powered application that hooks up to over 3,600 fixed space operators around the world and tens of thousands of aircrafts. It gives you uh, real-time pricing on demand. You can pay with crypto and fiat. We have a partnership with Stripe that lets us do up to a million dollars in credit card loads. And we've also launched our own uh, rewards token called the Fly token. You'll learn more about it further ahead. These are all of our competitors. Um, we're faster and smarter than Legacy Charter. Uh, we're better than XO Jets because we've actually have a real live implementation on the blockchain. We're better than Wheels Up because we offer multiple classes of aircrafts. Uh, Fly is a global platform. We have partnerships in Dubai. We have partnerships in Asia, as well as South America and uh, the US. We're on demand, or as on demand as you can get. There's obviously always some lag time when you're trying to get a jet, and there's also capacity, uh, capacity issues. Uh, and then tap jets. Uh, tap jets only accepts Bitcoin. Uh, we take all the major cryptocurrencies. The Fly token is an ERC-20 token. It's basically an air mile rewards program. So we're one of the only private jet companies in the world that will give you rewards for using our service. This is the Fly Air team. Uh, this is actually an old deck. We brought in Aaron Smith Hayes as our new chief technology officer. And I'm very excited about that. He, he's done over 70 projects in this space, and he's a big man with an even bigger heart and an even bigger brain. <laughs> so, uh, also Michael Turpin is one of our advisors, along with Arthur Battles. Arthur Battles runs the largest family office group on the planet. We've done a lot, as you can see here. We uh, recruited a team of uh, aviation professionals, uh, including our CEO Stuart Bullard, who. Uh, has been a pilot for over 15 years. He also created the software for the Predator drone through a company called Dreamhammer. So he has a defense contracting background. And uh, I think the coolest thing is he's Dr. Dre's producer. So we went along the lines and built the team. We got accepted into the National uh, Aviation Association. We uh, were one of the first companies to domicile Wyoming. We got the blessing of Caitlin Long and uh, Richard Slater, who's one of the top lawyers in Wyoming. Uh, we established partnerships with uh, top data aggregators in the aviation industry, which is how we're able to load real-time pricing. Uh, we built a working MVP. This is not a fictional product. You can download it right now on the App Store. Uh, we closed the million dollar processing deal with Stripe, which was actually a big deal for us because a lot of payment processors um, were skeptical of us as we're a startup and these are large transactions. But they gave us a chance and now we're in a great partnership with them. We spearheaded multiple events, uh, including Sundance, uh, World Crypto Conference, uh, Art Basel, et cetera, et cetera. We've onboarded several VIP celebrity clients, including Megan Fox, uh, Paul Oakenfold, Ray J, quite a few people. Uh, we retained Wilson Sonsini and Walkers out of Bermuda. We domiciled out of Bermuda. We got the Bermuda Monetary Authority license. We're one of the only tokens in the world that has been approved by a government. And we initiated phase two of our app development on Ethereum. This right here, we like to call the Jet Gang. The Jet Gang, I got a couple of people here in the Jet Gang. We took this flight to Coin Agenda, Puerto Rico. This was our inaugural Jet Gang flight. And part of what happens within the app is you can share seats. So we're able to take 
a plane like that that would normally cost thirty or forty thousand, you split it per seat, it ends up being three or four, it becomes affordable for everyone. So every single person on the jet gang got will get airdropped uh, fly tokens before flying on the plane. And uh, there's a billion tokens issued, 100 million tokens are in this initial token sale, so 10% of the total float. And it has a total uh, initial network valuation of 4 million, so it is a good opportunity. And we launched with SmartFi, which is one of the, uh, I guess, newest, newer and, and top tier US exchanges, uh, fully licensed regulated MSB. And you can go buy it on SmartFi today. And that's Fly. We have time for questions. Yeah, I have, I have a couple questions. Uh, so, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with some other um, companies. So, how many do you own your planes? Do you lease them? Do you partner with other companies? What's the ownership of the planes? So, we're like Uber for private jets. We never own or possess any assets. Um, we have talked about creating a DAO in the future where we might go out and buy a couple of planes, but. That's not our main core business model. We partner with fixed space operators around the world that partner with owners, and those jets become available pretty much at will, depending on when the owner needs it and when he doesn't. Um, but because of my uh, CEO and the time in the industry, we've been able to partner with some pretty big heavy hitters, including JetX out of uh, Dubai, Prime Jets out of California, um, all over the world. So. And how many planes you have access to right now? I, uh, I think over 10,000 if you count every single person that we've hooked up with. So that, for wheel pools out there are really good for cost effective for shorter flights. I mean, they have, they're out there you know, for the longer flights more. Uh, what's your uh, cost comparison compatibility between like, you know, for other competitors? I think we're, we're much cheaper because we have a lot less overhead and we're also putting, bringing a lot of the back, out, back office stuff into the cloud and we're also automating. So I think we're usually about 20 to 20 to 30% cheaper than the rest of the guys. And the holy grail of the industry is really selling seats rather than planes, um, but uh, there are regulatory hurdles. Uh, do you expect to, to uh, try to do that uh, in the future? Um, so my main mission is to put butts in chairs, right? That's my business model. And um, I think a lot of it is uh, creating, curating an experience Right, and part of what we're working with with Michael Turpin is uh, essentially creating an experience where people can network, where they can uh, be comfortable, where they can have a luxury service without having the luxury price tag associated with it. And how many customers in your database right now that uh, utilize uses private, private jets, or are you trying to actually bring other people who are not using private jets to your company as well for the cost savings as well? Yeah, I mean we've. We've done some pretty big flights with some big names um, in this space, uh, including Brock Beers. Um, we, I'd say right now we have about a database of 100 clients. Um, I personally, as a COO of the company, I don't need tens of thousands of flights for this to be a sustainable business model. Our numbers show us uh, in the black uh, year one after our fundraise with just 100 flights. So every single flight is a big deal and it brings in large chunk of revenue for the company. So I had, I had a invested maybe five, six years ago in the Jet Smarter membership, which was kind of, you know, JC backed, and you know, there was a lot of hype around. Is, this seems like a Jet Smarter with, with a token. Is, so, is, that, is that, because they were pitching also like the Uber of the, of the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is that kind of like the major difference, like you're adding the token to the to like, like Jet Smarter type business, or? What's the main differentiator versus? So it's interesting that you mentioned Jay Z. We're actually in the process of uh, talking to Jay Brown from Rock Nation. He's a good friend of Stu's, and um, they've been looking at us for the past year. They did invest quite a bit of money into Jet Smarter, and it did implode. Uh, their model was not sustainable. They were offering people unlimited flights for twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a year, and it became a game a game of musical chairs. So when people wanted to fly, say for Christmas, they wanted to use their membership. They would go and the planes would be all sold out and they would be out of capacity. And it became kind of like a, a pyramid scheme. Uh, the FBI got involved, there's been investigations. Our model's not that. Um, the token is essentially, <laughs> just being honest, the token is essentially a membership 
and it doesn't necessarily guarantee you that there's going to be availability for the plane, but it has a tangible value that you can use to pay for. And by buying the token, you essentially get a discount. So when I say the token is your membership, think of the Costco model. By buying the token and participating in the ecosystem, we're going to give you preferred preferential pricing, we're going to give you hand and glove service, and we're going to give you a bunch of incentives that come by using the ecosystem.